planning to give your CFA exam in February 2025 and are you wondering if you still have a chance to get a scholarship for it? If yes, then you have to keep watching this video. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanishka and I hope you all are doing good. In today's video, I'm going to be answering one of the currently most asked questions that is, can we get a scholarship for the February 2025 CFA exam? So let's get straight to it. But before that, if you're new to this channel, then please take one second to hit the subscribe button. If you've ever liked my work, even a teeny tiny bit, it would really mean a lot for you to join my community. If you're already a part of this channel, then thank you so much for joining me in my journey. I hope we stay together till the end of time. So guys, um, understand one thing about the CFA scholarship. We have this idea that if you get a scholarship, your price reduces to $300 or $400, depending on what scholarship you're getting. That's correct. We also know if we don't get a scholarship, then as a compensation for not getting a scholarship, we get access to the early bird registration, even if that early bird has been closed. But the third point that a lot of us miss is that these rewards, both using the scholarship or getting the early bird, is only going to be applicable if that, uh, that particular attempt card dates or registration is still open. Let me explain, keeping in mind the February exam. The next scholarship window that is expected to open is going to be in September. Usually, there are only two scholarship windows that open for the CFA exam in September and January as per past records. Even now, that's expected to continue. We don't know. Uh, nothing has been announced so far. The September window starts around mid-September uh, and usually can even go up till October. That's the window of applying for the scholarship. And the results of that window is usually expected to come in December. Again, keeping past records in mind. Abhi tak koi dates announced nahi hua. Now, if we keep this in mind, if the scholarship results, that is whether you got the scholarship award or not, uh, and if you will get compensated for the, uh, that is whether you got the scholarship or not, will come around December. That means till that time, the February exam registration completely shuts because the February exam registration will shut around November uh, 8th or 9th, whatever I'll put the exact date here. If that registration is shut, so the institute cannot compensate even for an early bird. You will completely lose the chance to give that exam altogether if you apply in the September window. Why? Because if you have applied for a scholarship, you cannot apply for the exam at all. Right? Chahe early bird or chahe kuch nahi. Aise nahi hota that you can apply for the exam uh, and then you apply for a scholarship and then if you get the scholarship, you will uh, they'll reduce the fees and they'll return your money. Aise nahi hota. You have to either register for the exam or apply for the scholarship. If you've applied for a scholarship, you have to wait for the scholarship result till you, uh, uh, till you apply for that exam or register for that exam. So since the registration for Feb will close, even if you by chance get the scholarship in December, you cannot use it for the Feb exam. You'll have to use it for a minimum of May, again, depending on when the dates come, or August, right? And again, the early bird compensation that they will give you is not going to be for Feb. It's going to be for May or August, depending on what the dates are. So this is a very, very short video. I just wanted to answer this because a lot of questions have been coming on this. And I thought it's just better to make a separate video. Uh, so a lot of you will be asking, should we take the risk? Should we not take the risk? That's a personal decision. I cannot take that decision for you. If I were in your place and I was sure that I wanted to give the February 2025 exam, and I can afford it, then I would absolutely not take the risk because keeping past records in mind, I don't think, again, this is an opinion, it's not a fact, but I don't think that they will prepone the uh, scholarship window because if they had to, they would have maybe announced it by now. And to prepone it also, they really need to push it like September, uh, August, so November 1st week may result so that you can apply for Feb. So the only risk if you guys are really, really wanting to take the risk that you guys can take maybe is uh, miss the early bird for Feb and see because once the dates are officially announced, can you understand whether you will get the scholarship for that attempt or not or whether you'll be compensated for early bird or not. Again, like I said, chances are very, very bleak. With that, I'm ending this video. If you have any more questions on this, please let me know in the comment section and I'll try my best to help you. If you like this particular video, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Quick reminder, I post long videos every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, connecting with young professionals like you, navigating our early career problems, navigating CFA exam problems, and sharing lifestyle videos. Along with that, I post daily vlogs on shop. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Until then, keep talking and keep learning.